Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Recently, I was invited out by the WizKids team to spend the weekend with uh, the creators of Star Trek Into the Unknown, and uh, I am bringing to you today a partial battle report showcasing some gameplay. Uh, this is a very special video, uh, but I did want to preface this with that this is going to be partial gameplay. I'm not giving you the entire game, uh, but we did want to highlight sort of a mid-game, like something that would happen uh, as tensions were escalated. So uh, this one is a little bit more of a uh, combat-focused portion of our gameplay. And uh, there is a lot of things that we did cover. There's still a lot more to discover. So uh, with that preface, uh, I want to, uh, again, thank John Max and Michael for, for having me out to the Twin Cities and for giving me the tremendous opportunity to learn from them and to be able to play. Uh, in this video, there will be some sidebar from uh, from both Max and Michael as I'm playing against Michael and Max is there uh, to also uh, kind of help inform. And so there's some background chatter and some things that I think you guys are going to enjoy. Uh, but I'll be playing the Federation, and Michael will be playing the Dominion, and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Hello there! What is going on, everyone? We are playing some Star Trek Into the Unknown, and I am playing uh, the uh, wonderfully well-known Michael Gurness, and uh, he is playing uh, as the Dominion, and uh, we're running through. This is like my first game, and I wanted to bring you guys a battle report uh, and kind of jump into the actions. So this is sort of a mid-game, and we're going to run down the ships that we're running and uh, some of the things that have happened so far. So we're, we're attentions are definitely escalated right now. Uh, we are running all of the ships that come in the core set. Uh, and uh, I am running a couple of uh, interesting officers. On board my Galaxy class here, I do have Jean-Luc Picard, I have a Reliable Commander, and I have Worf at Tactical. Uh, on board the Defiant, uh, we have the Reliable Commander, uh, the Scholarly Doctor, and the Redoubtable Engineer. So it's like maybe not the Defiant fully yet, you know, it's just a, a prototype Defiant class. Uh, this is the early days for Ben Sisko, who is at the Captain's Chair of a Constellation class Starship with a reliable commander at the helm. Actually, I had moved them to tactical, but no, they should be at helm. Uh, and and we're and we have each of their damage decks ready. Uh, Picard is my commodore. Yes. That's correct, commodore. Yes. Yeah. And um, and I'm gonna come around to the other side of the table. We'll look at how the Dominion player is set up. A lot more officers were available. We didn't use all of them today, uh, but we have uh, we're playing a system with uh, with two systems. This is the Helix setup. Um, I started in this corner, he started in that corner, and basically we've kind of warped in and started to take some of the objectives. We are going into turn three, which is the final turn before a complication will develop. And we're going to be seeing how that happens. I don't know what's going to happen. There is, there's definitely was some pre-setup, but uh, Max and John kind of helped set up the game, so there's going to be some, some surprises. I didn't actually have to set it all up. So this is very exciting. If you guys do like what you see here, be sure to subscribe, stick around. We're still doing that 12 Days of Life Day uh, giveaway, so you got to be uh, leave a comment and be a subscriber for that. But all, if you want to see more Star Trek and more wargaming and spaceships and sci-fi wargaming and all that good stuff, this is a great place to be for it. Uh, it is really a treasure to see how the Enterprise looks on the battlefield right next to a smaller ship that it kind of dwarfs in comparison. It is really cool, but Another thing that I think really is maybe an unsung hero of this game is the uh, the, the Dominion's uh, battle cruiser here, um, the Jim Hadar battle cruiser, uh, really kind of dwarfs this even a medium ship. This Constellation class looks really threatened, and and shields have been raised at this point. There uh, f shots have not been fired yet, although we did kind of do some mock mock battles just to see how they would go. Um, but shots have not been fired at this point. Uh, the Defiant is back here. Now, the Defiant is the biggest gunship, but because the Defiant came in, you know, a little bit to back things up and didn't realize how quickly tensions were going to escalate, uh, the Defiant isn't in the best position to threaten the Dominion. And this little guy might have just been a decoy. So that's kind of where we're at right now. There are some, some anomalies that haven't been discovered yet. There's one over here that ended up being a gravity rift, but it didn't end up actually causing any damage because the Dominion player flew right past it, just narrowly avoided it. 
And, and that's kind of a little bit of our setup. We are going to show you guys some gameplay and we're going to walk you through what's happening and hopefully you will find this useful. Let me know if you have any questions, comments, or observations down in the comments section and we'll try to get as many of those as we can answered. Plus there'll be links to discords and uh, our, my social media and all that other stuff where you can keep the discussion going. And now we're gonna go ahead and set up with the top down view. All right, so we are set up as the beginning of round three. Um, I started out with priority, and uh, round two, it went to the Dominion, that went to Mike, and it's going back to me, uh, and I'm going to start us off this round. Now, the current score, I have two victory points. Uh, one I did get from getting an objective, and the other one I got from hailing. We're going to talk about hailing uh, a little bit more because we're going to do that at the end of the round. Uh, hailing is very, very cool, and uh, it's it's a... It's a really, really interesting mini game within the game, and I and I love the way it works. Uh, but what did happen is some tensions were raised, some uh, shields were raised, alert status was raised up. Uh, I, for example, uh, here is the Enterprise. We are at yellow alert two. Uh, uh, we have two weapons to power, three shields. We're actually a little slower, um, so that's something to think about. Uh, will I be able to make ten inches um, with the warp power? Um, maybe not. You can always spend I can spend reserve, reserve, right? Reserve. Up to my max. So I'll have to spend some power uh, and, and do that. It's, it's basically, uh, I want to protect my fleet over here, and I think my Enterprise is going to warp away from this little decoy and get over here. So that's the thing, first thing that I want to do right now. Um, so what I'm going to do is, uh, and I'm just going to show you here, uh, I'm going to use the warp maneuver. And this is going to cost me uh, a social and what the tricorder is a tech. Tech. So it's going to cost me one social, one tech, and one energy. So I'm going to go down one energy to start. I'm going to go down to to, to four. Oh, I would have more because I get three back, and I yes. did forget to set that. So yes. I'll go up to. I'll start up with. Uh, I, yeah, I'll start. I'll start back up at uh, at eight, and but I will spend one to go down to that. That is an advantage to for, with the galaxy class for for powering up a little bit, is they are able to recover. I mean, they have big engines, right? You got especially at that yellow. Yeah, yeah. Alert is where you recover the most. Oh, that's good to know. Yeah, see, I'm learning a lot of this. Uh, but yeah, so we're going to we're going to do all of that, and we're going to exhaust Jean Luc Picard, who is on board. So again, he does start off this way, and he will flip over. So I'm going to do that. It's going to be over here on the side of the board, but I would want to just zoom in a little bit. Um, and I currently uh, I'm at five, but I could go up to nine, and I'll double that, so that would give me ten inches, which would only put me about up to here, and I need more. So I'm pr I think I'm going to need. Uh, if I'm going from the front corner to 10, uh, I think I'm going to have to spend two extra power. That would give me four more inches, right? Mm -hmm. So it was double. So I'm going to spend two more power. I'm going to go down to five for my reserve. So that's going to get me, so, so that's going to give me 14 inches. Uh, now, I, since I'm going straight through warp, I don't necessarily have to use this tool, although I could. Uh, but I will just align this with the center line here. Um, and I'm just going to... So I can sit this down straight. Now, it does look like I'm barely, just going to barely miss this anomaly. Well played. Yeah, that was, that was, well, I did the come about maneuver at the end. So I was able to point myself in the best, you know, it had some flexibility, but it did cost me a whole action to do that. Um, so I'm going to, uh, this is from one, I'm going to go up to 10 and then I'll do seven more. Uh, I'm sorry, what did I say, 14? Yeah. yeah. So 10 and then we're going to do four more. On there, Up to the middle, oh, it's right there. One, two, three, there you go. four, and I am I just barely in the system. Now we talked about this before. Uh, as long as your ship makes just partially in the system, then I can now change their system marker to be in system two. Uh, they're they're now considered to be in the system. They're no longer in deep space, even though the butt does ex uh, extend into deep space. And so that's uh, that's my. My first action, my first priority action of the priority phase, and it's going to go over to you, sir. Uh, you can figure out what you want to do. Now, right. as far as the complication, at the end of this round, um, we are going to, it is going to switch to your complication currently. So you're yes. already in a good position, um, you know, put to, uh, to, to see what happens. Well, I'm, I'm going to try to make it a little better, and I am going to start out uh, with ship number one. Oh, yes, because you didn't get this. You still have the orange token here. Yeah. However, I'm close enough to it now where I can deny you extra victory points. Yes, but I'm going to go ahead and I am going gonna... to... I, I didn't even I didn't plan that. That worked out. Well played. It was convenient. Yeah, it was a little bit of luck. Maybe so, Q was in play there. 
I have Talak Talon at my instrument station. I'm going to okay. commit him. Okay. Uh, he doesn't... I want, I want to get close up on that action there. Or that, uh, mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, yeah. So yeah. this is a uh, sensor... No, this is... Yeah, sensor sweep. So he's, uh, we're playing neutral zone survey here. And, oh, we're also playing the Gamma Quadrant Anomalies. Uh, so... Uh, but we have, so he is, uh, basically he's going to try and get that flag off of there. Now I abandoned one on this side of the board before, um, I'm running out of time. I think, uh, I think it's worth it to not get that one and to reinforce my fleet. So that's so what I'm playing. Let's make sure yeah. that that's actually in sensors range. Uh, I'm at green and, uh, I okay. have one sensors, uh, should, so I've got a, I've got a sensors range out my bow of five. So you normally have four inches, yep. but you have up to five. So you definitely within, you would even have it at four. Yep. So. So okay. range, and uh, I have an ops of four. Mm -hmm. And that's uh, that's this it's yellow. Yep. Yeah, that's this number right here. On the crew dial. Yeah, the yep. crew dial. This one can go down when your crew takes damage, and I'm so tempted to just spin it down and hand it back to you. I'm like, oh no, how did that happen? So I get to roll four, <laughs> four uh, blue dice, but okay. the officer doesn't contribute to that. Okay. And I get one reroll. You get one reroll for, for your green stat, right? Yeah, okay. for my instruments. Yeah. Oh, wow. Okay, so that's a pretty good roll. Um, you've got two breakthrough successes. Fortunately, I'm denying you the use of those breakthrough successes because the mission says that if there's an enemy ship in sensors reigns, you cannot get an extra bonus victory point for, for with the breakthrough. They still, they still count as a success? It does still count as a success. So I succeed. Yeah, because the difficulty is three, right? Yep. And you got three. And you have, that's actually a really good roll. Um, and you're able to pull that even farther away from my side. So I would need... A massive amount of successes, and then since I'm away from this thing, I don't think I'm going to be able to do it. I think you kind of locked in that we're going to your complication. And I scored one one VP. So yeah. if you just want to hand me one of those, uh, I will. Here you go, sir. Now we're tied. It's two to two. I got one from a hail, and then you got two, uh, one from, and I got one from a, uh, an objective, and you got two objectives. Oh, I do have that one over there that away. I might be able to get. There we go. Okay. There's there is still the blue flag on that one. Maybe yes. maybe I'll have a chance for. It. Maybe. Oh, and then there's the hail phase, so I could, I could, I, I can. There's a lot of ways to score, although I, I do expect some shots to be fired. The, the Dominion says, "Let's see you try." Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's fair. Well, considering that, um, I have some options right now. Uh, I am certainly concerned about the welfare of this ship, um, but I also want to get the Dominion in in range, and I, I have two victory points. I, I think uh, I think it's time to fire. I think it's time to do some stuff. I, th I think I think Worf is uh, especially since you guys just did that in our face. You know, Worf is gonna he's gonna be a little aggressive, um, and Picard is not happy about it. But I'm gonna exhaust Worf. Worf does have Ordnance One, and he's going to op uh, he's gonna open fire on the Dominion's battle cruiser. Now, now we see who is truly warlike. Yes, <laughs> he's he's trying to get some glory. Today is a good day to die. Or to roll a die. Oh, this is, today is it'd be a funny. Di all right, I don't know. I think there's I think there's a tie in somewhere with dice and die and all right. You could probably sell that shirt. Too. Yeah, I mean, probably. Good day to, to, and show one of the dice. But just show a black die. Yeah, yeah. Good day to. So who, who are you attacking? Uh, I'm gonna go for. I'm, I'm gonna go front. Oh well, actually, there's this little guy right here. No, I'm gonna try and go for him. Okay. I'm gonna go for your battle cruiser. Uh, I, I do have. I, well, actually, no. I have six inch range, right? Are you in range with your phasers? Oh shoot! You know what? I might not be. Um, I am not, so I would probably have to do an impulse maneuver to get in range first. So maybe, all right, so Worf is, uh, no, Worf, stand down, Mr. Worf, we're not in, even in phaser range yet. But you are in torpedo range. I could, but that would be, I can only fire two, and only one in the front, because uh, again, the Enterprise isn't e exactly a warship. It's It's got teeth, but it's, you know, I, I can't do, I can't fire four out the front uh, currently. So, um, yeah, I think I'm going to actually do a, a, an impulse maneuver. Um, so I'm going to exhaust my reliable commander uh, at Helm, and oh yeah, Helm is where I want to be, right? Um, and we're going to uh, we're going to do an impulse maneuver. Um, yeah, oh, well, oh, it's up here. Okay. Um, so what what initially sometimes is confusing. Uh, I'm thinking I'm I'm looking on this help, but the, this line here, this is where impulse is. It's going to be it's going to cost me one energy, and then I can move up to my red. Now I've only got five inches here. Uh, but that's going to be more than enough to get me where I need to be. Um, and I will go ahead and insert there. And now, uh, what is my clicks here? Uh, only one. 
So I don't have... Oh, that's a big ship. It doesn't turn mm -hmm. on a dime. Um, but I think... And a lot of your power is going into your weapons now. Yeah. And now, I don't have to be completely on the line. I can be in between, right? Correct. Yeah. Yes. So I'm just going to do a, a half, a, a fraction of a turn. I want to go mostly, mostly straight. And uh, we're going to go in here. If you're doing a short little jump, you could use the six inch ruler too. Oh, yeah. Where's the six inch? I got it. You've got that. Oh, perfect. Perfect. Yeah. I can only go up to five. So we're going to go in here. And I'm going to, yeah, I'm going to go over the top of that. That's okay. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so then we're going to slide five inches up. One, two, three, four, five. We're going to stop right there and pull that out. And then lock me back in. Oh, you know what? I'm going to re-peg it. I'm going, some, I'm going to make it a little higher. Yeah. We've got some more pegs right here. So, by the way, these are so nice. I, just, just, just having this is, being able to hold this in your hand, it feels really good. Really good. All right. You're attacking from above the galactic plane. That is a, it is a 3D game, right? It's a 3D space. There's a... Space, space is three-dimensional. Kind of. Mostly, although all of our games tend to be kind of 2D plane. <laughs> that, just, that works better for game playing. It's very... Uh, games that have tried to do true 3D space, it, it is a struggle sometimes. I tend to enjoy the 2D plane of combat. Because uh, that's how my brain thinks, so this works really well there. All right, now I have some options uh, for the future. Okay, so that's my impulse move, and I yield back to you, sir. All right, so I'm down to four reserve power now on that galaxy class ship. All right, so uh, going back to you. Uh, so who's who's who are you activating? So in, in the face of this unprovoked aggression. Uh, we are going to uh, instead of actually activating my, my warship or my, my, my battle cruiser, which is already at yellow alert, I am going to move. I'm going to use the, the advantage of the bridge uh, section to move my board of supervisor to the captain's chair. Okay, because the captain's chair was empty. Yep. And uh, all right, so you're moving her up there. So I commit her, and then I'm going to call an alert. Oh. And because I'm doing a. Priority, and is this on this guy? Yep, that's on okay. my Jemadar fighter. Oh, he's so, going to adjust your status. So you're going no. from what? From, are you at green one so right now? I'm going from green one, and I'm going to go to yellow. You're going to go to yellow one. Pass green two, because if you do the call alert during the priority phase, you can do it two times. Right. On that ship. Right. Because oh. I gave a priority right. order. Yeah, although I think all the ships here currently have that same uh, for call alert. Yeah, right? it's, it's very standard to build. Very standard. Okay, all right. Okay. Um, now it's going to go back to me. I think the Defiant needs to get into position. So the Defiant is going to... Well, you know what? I might. I kind of like where they are. I think I'm gonna have them hold on for just a minute. I really. I. 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 I'm now wanting to 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 have Worf on board the Defiant instead of on the Galaxy class. <laughs> you know? but it's okay. Well, if you move the Defiant, you can beam him over. Um, wh which action lets us beam somebody over? Is that uh, the? Uh, that is from engineering. It's from engineering. It's oh. transport. Oh, so I'd have to. I can move somebody to engineering. Uh, they have to be in the same section, right? Right. You'll have to wait until... I could, I, but I could do that as in a, uh, during the standby, you right? Could, you'll have to wait until... Well, actually... Uh... I can do it next turn. I can... Yeah. I can, all right. Yeah. I, I, I'll think about that. Right, so I am going to start the fight with Benjamin Sisko. Uh, I, 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 he's on board this constellation. Now, I'm going to show you. I've got Ben Sisko here, and I've got a reliable commander at helm, but I could switch them over to tactical. But here's, here's what we're going to do. Um... We have some peril tokens that we accumulated before, earlier in the game. He can force me to spend these and force me to re-roll a die. So that is, you know, is interesting. It's a little bit of a liability. Um, I think there was something about if I happen to roll a breakthrough success that it can't be re-rolled. Right, right. So that's that's something to keep in mind. So we're, I think we're going to try that. Um, and I think we're going to try and soften up shields so that if we do attack, um, that maybe more gets through. So we're going to see what we can do. Uh, I, I'm going to basically have this ship, uh, we're going to take our, our reliable commander, they're going to move down to tactical, and they're going to exhaust. Like like that. So that's what's going to happen. Uh, I currently have two weapons power. Uh, I'll spend two more auxiliary power uh, to, to basically have four that I can fire. First three are going to be from my front left side because my phasers max out at three power. Um, I've got one more power that I'll be able to spend after this. I do not have ordnance 
so I don't get to add any black dice to my first attack. So this is kind of a, a not a warship, not a wartime officer, but we still have some standard phasers. We're going to fire, see what we can do. We're going to test the shields of this new species that we haven't encountered before. And, uh, and this is a hostile act. So I'll be flipping. Uh, I had flipped this already. Uh, I shouldn't have yet. We're still on We Come in Peace, but I'm going to be doing a hostile act, which means I'm going to score negative victory points at the end of this action. Um, here we go. Uh, we're going into your front. Now, your evasion is what? One? One. It's, okay. a big, it's a big ship. All right, here we go. We're going there. And I roll... Okay. Oh, wow. I rolled two breakthrough successes and one regular success. Now, you can force me to re-roll a die. I'm, I'm going to have you spend that one peril to re-roll that one success. Okay. All right. Oh, and I got a double! I got a double! Talk about your backfires. Wow. Okay. That was... I'm really glad we got that live. That was not planned. Um, now, I have another peril. Can you force me to re-roll it again? Uh, yeah. I, I, I can. So. Yes. yes. I, and I, I think you I definitely will. want to do yeah. that. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Let's see. I'm going to... But hey... I'm going to pull these two way. out yeah. really quick because we have, we have those locked in. And we'll see what we get here. Okay. Uh, oh, that's okay. Analysis. Analysis. Well, that's not going to actually work here. So, so that was good. You caused the peril. We, so that was one of those cinematic moments where we're like, we're going to do it. We're going to do it. And then all of a sudden, like an asteroid kind of flew in the way or something, and we just she slipped and kind of fudged it. But still, it's two, two successes, and your evasion's one. So you still hit me. So I'm still hitting you. I have to yeah. meet or beat your evasion. Yeah. Right. So yeah. if you were a three evasion, you would have dodged the attack completely. But your shields are. Uh, my shields are three. You're attacking in okay. the front. Yes, I am attacking your front. So your front shields will be able to absorb this. However, that still drains energy. Yep. So no Same. hull damage, but we do get some of your energy. So your reserve power is down to what? Four? Four. Okay, so we, 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 we took a chunk. Yep. I've got one more shot. Uh, or I've got one more power. Now what I could do is I could fire a torpedo out the rear. I have, uh, I have yeah, one fore and one aft torpedo, or I have, since that you're in my front arc, I also have you in my front right, so I could use the yes. right side phaser bank, uh, because again, it kind of splits down the middle. Yep. Uh, I, I attacked with my front left, I could use my front right phaser bank to do one more shot. Um, and I think I'm going to do a torpedo out the rear. All right. So, uh, I have to make sure that this fits. It does. It, I cannot overlap you. If you're too close, it won't work. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and drop a torpedo. Um, I can only do up to one, so I'm going to go this way, and just kind of force you to move. All right, let me lock that in, and is that, I think that's going to make it. There you go. Yeah, we're in there. Now, once I, I'll, I'll go ahead and pick this up. One of the things I could do is I could put a fuse on there. I could say I want it to last for a certain amount of time. Uh, in this case, I'm not going to. I'm going to set it to zero. I could go okay. up to I think uh, what did we say two, um, but yeah. So. I'm going to put no fuse on there, so it's going, to, it's going to detonate this round, which does kind of force you to stay there and take it, or get the heck out of the way. And I, I kind of like forcing you to make maybe suboptimal plays. And I think, considering I had a re you could force me to re-roll even one die, if I had a rolled one hit, you would have made me re-roll it. So I don't think my best advantage was to fire a smaller phaser burst with the other die. Well, and if I stick around, that torpedo is, is, can do a lot of damage. So. I'd I, I love for you to stick around. <laughs> All right, uh, that's that's going to do it. So I go. I guess we're going to go back to you. One more important thing happens. Certainly, you get some negative victory points because you. You're right. I do. I did. I did say we were going to do that, but I do have to. It'd be convenient to forget. So I'm going to take these now. The interesting thing is I keep my victory points, um, so I will have. Technically, I'll have two positive, and two negative. Uh, we don't remove positive victory points when we gain a negative victory point we keep all of them and then we'll balance them out at the uh, at the end of the game correct okay so yeah uh that was my uh that was my activation and uh, i guess we go back to you and oh you I can now flip here now i can flip it in response and yeah. i am going to do so all right so we are both in the uh we, we've both flipped our our uh our, our card that is so i'm at proportionate response and you are now on make an example so you you can now score points by killing me, right? Yes. <laughs> oh. Yes. So I opened. I just started a war. Um, the Federation has rashly chosen. Technically, violence. Benjamin Cisco started a war. He, he, the thing is, this is like pre DS Nine. Cisco's on another ship. He was not happy about being in a fleet run by Picard. He doesn't like Picard. He doesn't trust Picard, and he decided he was going to take matters into his own hands. And he started a war. That's that's the way it, way it went way it went down. All right, what are you doing? Well, as was pointed out, uh, I can make an example of the Federation for 
uh, for, for breaking the truce. Ah, yes. And I'm going to do so with my battle cruiser, which is not at, not at red alert, but is is poised to, to deliver some some punishment. Okay. So I am going to uh, commit Ometaclon, who is already a tactical. Mm-hmm. And I'm going to fire weapons. Okay. And I'm not going to fire weapons at the the giant galaxy class ship that's bearing down on me. I'm going to fire weapons at the constellation. Oh, are you? Yes. Okay. Uh, and attack the attack the smaller fish. Yeah. So yeah. Uh, I have three weapons power, um, and I can spend. That means I can spend up to an additional three reserve. And I didn't drain enough of your reserve power with that shot to to stop you right. from doing that. Right. That was kind of one of my hopes. Is that if I can drain all your power, then you'll have less to shoot back. So, okay. Yep. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and... Uh, but I also have to watch watch myself because that Galaxy class can attack me. Yeah, if you spend so, all of your power on attack, you might run out of shield. Oh, it, yeah. so that's... We're getting, in, we're getting into some tough choices when it comes to balancing power. Do we want to save some for shields? Do we want to throw it all into our phasers? It's a, it's, you have some tough choices to make. So, if you want to hand me uh, another two of those blue dice... Uh, I really don't I'm want take, to because uh, then you're going to roll them against me. I'm going to take one of these. <laughs> so, uh, Metaclon does have ordnance. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna spend uh, three weapons power on this shot. Okay. And uh, and you have the option to spend up to three more. And I get one. Yeah, I, I, I'm gonna see how this attack goes. Okay. So you gonna do it in here, or you wanna do it? You can do it. You can roll them wherever you want. And you are in my front, and I'm mm-hmm. attacking with my uh, phased polar on beams. You're definitely in my range of six. Okay. And with oh, we got a form, double in there. With a Metaclone, I can choose uh, with my Relentless skill mm-hmm. to uh, roll up to two damage, up to okay. two, two dice. And there's uh, just a reference to what he's got. Relentless 2 lets you roll up to two dice. Yes. Okay. But right. if they come up as uh, breakthrough successes, he takes a damage. Ah, okay. I'm going to go ahead and go for it. All right, so I'll pull these out since they're Great. not being re-rolled. Great. Okay. okay. So, oh, wow, you ended right. up with a double. That's even better. All right, so that's interesting. <laughs> That's that's nasty. Okay. That's nasty. So, uh, because I have two analysis results, and my ship has Pierce two on its weapons, I can spend those uh, during the attack to penetrate the shields of the ship. Right. And I'm going to do that. Because my shields are currently two, which would mean that I could re- p- put some of that damage to reserve power instead of hull. Uh, but oh, I only have one reserve power. You actually might not want to Pierce. You might because I don't think you're going to get past my hull. This is a case where if I were at full strength, then maybe uh, you would have wanted to pierce, so you're bypassing something. But I I do want to pierce. You do want to pierce. I am okay with that. Okay. So all right. So I've got four damage that I'm going to take. So here, what happens here is I'm at seven. I'm going to go here. Six damage. I there's a, this the skull symbol means I take a damage to crew. I go down one there. Um, next one. Boom. It's five. It's yellow. I'm now in the yellow, so I'm going to stop taking damage, but I also get a... Uh, it's a critical there, so I'm going to take a damage card. Uh, and we're going to we're gonna shuffle these. I'm going to pull one. Oh, I'm going to let you pull. I'm going to do this. Pick a card, any card. The middle one, okay. I didn't want you to pick that one. All right, let's see. So what do we get? Uh, warp Core Breach! <laughs> oh, no! <laughs> oh, aft. Um, hazard aft. Reduce hull by one if this reduces the ship to uh, this spiky damage symbol, each spare unit at one, each space unit at one, at two inches, sustains three hull damage. Ouch. In the event of a, of a total... Yeah, event, and uh, then vent damage. antimatter, uh, I can test a mechanics to, I can potentially, you I can, can try to fix it. So, okay. I have one piece of good news for you. You're not actually getting this card. Because... It has to be able to fire your axe. Oh, that's right. Yep. Oh, so you're, you'll get a different card instead. You draw oh. it until you get a card that matches the oh, okay. section. Oh, okay. So because he attacks the front. Very right. Okay. Thank you, Max. All right, this is... I was woo. about to say that. All right, all right. So let's try it again. Uh, four or aft. So we have compartment fires, which sounds a lot more manageable than the warp core breach. Um, oh, I like the way that the damage card works. So this, uh, yeah, if it's not applicable, you just draw another one. This is such a cool... All right. Uh, all right, so an opponent sizes this to any station, and it's got a hazard. During the hazard phase, each personnel... Uh, is going to sustain a damage, and oh, so now now my tactical station has already been committed, so I can't move her out. So she that could that could damage her, uh, or you could put it in the captain's chair. But since I haven't activated Cisco yet, he might move out of that s- station. I, well, I, I think I have worse news for you about that compartment fire. Uh-huh. Uh, each personnel in this end of the ship. Oh. 
Oh, the end of the... So, the fore or the aft. But I do have to assign oh. it to the station. Yeah. I'm going to assign it to uh, the captain's chair. Okay, so um, so which which parts are the four? Is, is all of the bridge all of four? So if you see the diagram, uh, mm -hmm. or, I'm sorry, not the diagram, yeah. uh, there's a listing here that says four and aft. Oh, okay, and so, so so we're looking at these. So, oh, so cargo and engineering are the aft, and everything else is going to be in the four section. Yes. Oh, so that's going to hurt everybody. So it, I could have Cisco just, you know, run to... Are you you're putting this in the captain's chair? Yes. Okay, that's where Ben is, so... Yeah, it, it, the captain's chair caught on fire as a result of that shot. And, and because it is in the captain's chair, that means you can't take actions from that station. Interesting. Okay. Well, then, we're going to have to figure something out when it comes to uh, activating. Poor Ben Sisko might, uh, he might run to the cargo bay to try and extinguish fires. He might do that. I think that, that sounds like a fun thing. I can see, I can see that being a... A, a cut scene to the yeah, day that yeah. he became horribly disfigured and all of his hair burned away. <laughs> and his hair burned away and he came back stronger. What do you mean disfigured? Uh, I, I, I don't know. I mean, I, it, depend, it depends on if he's successful or not. You know? Um, okay, so uh, is, is that complete your action? Or if you, had more, you have up to three more weapons power, don't you? Uh, I, I do if I want to spend reserve. And mm -hmm. uh, I am going to spend uh, two reserve, I think... To do an additional attack with my other because I'm in your front, so I, you can hit me with both front, like left and right front. If you yes, have yes. Um, mm -hmm. I could I could also I could launch torpedo instead. I think I'm too close for you to launch a forward torpedo. Well, I wouldn't be able to place it on top of you, but I mm -hmm. would be able to place it to the side. Oh, if I you place it to the okay. I think. Uh, Interesting. I think that is what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to spend it? spend one power to drop a torpedo. Here you go. Oh, there's another one right there. But yes. No problem. Uh, but by the way, excellent thing about this core set is that you have materials for both players, so we don't have to pass things back and forth, although I was being nice and doing it anyway. But yeah, everybody can have their own their own set of, of play materials and rulers and dice and and uh, and all of those things. So very cool. All right, so you're dropping a torpedo. So they, now you're telling me the same thing that I told you, is if I don't want to take torpedo damage, I might want to move. And that's, uh, that's uh, something to they're, consider. They're, they're really good for pressure that way. Yeah. Uh, the interesting thing with my ship is um, my I only have torpedo tubes in the four. I only have one. Oh, so but it is wide angle. Oh, so you so, can... So does that give you uh, two or three? It gives me up to two. Up to two. So, so you I have a lot more... That to, is nice. Okay. So I am going to go ahead and place it like this. Okay. And put a line of torpedo there. Okay. Beautiful. So Although you want the arrow path. facing oh, that's right. forward because it's yep. flying up. Yep, yep. And are you going to put a charge on it, or you probably don't oh, want yeah. to? I do. I do. Oh, you don't want it to detonate this turn? Well. Oh, but if it's within proximity, it'll detonate early. Exactly. Ah. Exactly. So, oh, and that means if if that I means... if I dodge, then it could still threaten the defiant. Exactly. Oh, that's really nasty. <laughs> Super smart. Oh man. Okay, I am so going to get. Go ahead and put two, I'm getting hammered here right on my own channel. On this that. is what happens. Okay. So I'm put two endurance on that thing. Okay. Put that to the side so the yeah, token's gives, not overlapping your. Ship. That gives you plenty of options. Okay. Yeah. No, that's smart. All right. I'm learning. You're, I'm learning from the master. Okay. Um, I have to. Cisco's got to do something. Um, I think Cisco's going to try and put out fires so. though. I, I I said that I wanted him to do that. Cisco's going to go to the cargo bay, um, and I'm going to try and do test. Uh, a discipline? Does he have to? He has discipline too. So he can't actually reach the cargo bay in one move because it's not in the same section. Oh, it's only section same section. Oh, okay. Well, then in that case, uh, he's not going to do that. I'm get, he can get um, there in the ready phase. That's right, because it's not the bridge. Okay, so uh, I, uh, huge. I don't know what he's. He might not do anything just yet. I think go back to the Enterprise. I'll let Worf do some some vengeance firing, um, and we're going to do that. Worf's going to fire back and. Gosh, as much as I... Yeah, because we've got to get the Defiant up there. Um, question. If the Defiant moves over here, will I... Will that torpedo hit... Like, will you have to pick a ship? Or will it hit everybody within the blast radius? Uh, everybody in the blast radius. <laughs> oh, no! So, okay. If, if, if you're within uh, that one-inch circle, you're going to get to Okay, well, I, I have to rethink things just a little bit. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually activate the Defiant. Instead, they're going to fly up. This was revealed already, so I'm going to pick that up also. Uh, that was from last turn. The Defiant's going to... Uh, we're going to move. Um, I'm going to activate Helm. And they're going to... Uh, we're going to go ahead and uh, do an impulse maneuver. Um, and that's, we've got both of them. So that's not going to cost me anything else. I've got up to eight. Uh, and I've got three clicks, so I've got a lot of capabilities here. But I, it's been advised to me that I can attempt to fire at that uh, torpedo to keep it from going off. So uh, I think I'm going to 
I'm going to try. Uh, I'm, I'm going to see what I can do. All right, so uh, I want to go... Uh, I just want to turn a little bit. Uh, and I'm going to go up to eight. So I don't think I need to go a full eight. I'm going to try the six. Yeah, so I'm going to take that off. And we're going to slide this up to about right there. I think that seems good. I'll put you there. Thank you, sir. All right, um, see there. Yeah. All right. And uh, and now I've got my front uh, arc, so I'm going to go ahead and try and fire at, uh, at those two points. But I'm not going to do that yet because that was one action. That was right. just movement. Uh, right. I can worry about tactical afterwards. Okay, so it's my, it's to me. Yeah. Uh, what do I want to do? Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're looking at activating the uh, battle cruiser again. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, and uh, what I would love to do is not be <laughs> uh, it, right right at phaser range of your galaxy class. You're in the kill zone. Um, but however, uh, mm -hmm. looking at the board, I, I uh, with my engine power of five, I do not see a way that mm -hmm. I can either uh, impulse maneuver away. Sure. Or have room to, to warp away. So we were talking about trying to warp over to here and yeah. it sounds good, but because you can't turn, if you could turn just yes. a little bit, you could yep. fit right here. But, but if you go perfectly straight, it's going to put you off the edge. And yeah. I kind of blocked you in with yeah. my move right here. So yeah. I prevented that, that, that almost that Picard maneuver where I'm kind of warping and well, not really Picard maneuver, but faster than light, no left or right. Yeah. So I'm stuck. So okay. what I am going to do instead is I am going to use my board of supervisor. Okay. Who is already at the captain station. I'm just going to threaten you because I, uh, we have just been defending ourselves right. and our, our, our just spirit influence. Uh, and this Federation aggression will not stand. Okay. Man. So uh, I'm going to commit my officer and I'm going to threaten you. Uh, and that costs uh, a social skill and a security skill. She doesn't have security. Oh. So I got to pay a reserve. It but puts a negative. It puts a... Uh... I get to place a peril on one unit of comms range. I keep calling them negatives because they're, yeah. they're negative. They're, they're negative uh. civil. Oh, and I think it's almost everybody. Oh, and the Enterprise hasn't fired yet. So I'm actually going to place that on the Enterprise. Okay. All right. So I'm going to put that on. That's going to go on the ship token. So I'm going to drop that on there right there. And you get to spend that to force me to re... Oh, and Worf is getting ready to open fire. That'll, that'll make oh, shooting just yeah. a little harder. Oh, he has not flipped yet. Yeah, so. Okay. Okay. Well, yeah, if I get any of those doubles, uh, I don't like that. Yeah, I, don't, I do not like peril. And uh, that's a nasty thing. You've already demonstrated it before. So, um, okay. That's an action for you. I, I do have Wharf. I want to try and fire at these torpedoes, though. Um, so I'm going to take my, uh, my scholarly doctor here, who uh, doesn't, you know, he's in the instruments panel, but I'm going to send him over to, oh, I could, I could try to sensor lock. You could. He's not good at that. Um, my commander would be better. But it so. would make your shot a lot better. Yeah, but uh, he's in that spot. Ah, oh, you don't get a bonus for sensor light. He actually, I, it would cost me two power to do it. No, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna send him straight to tactical. Look, the doctor's got some bent up aggression. He hasn't been able to heal anybody <laughs> all day. It's just like I'll surgical in. And he, and, oh, and this surgical doctor makes puns. Yeah. And he's like, consider this a surgical procedure. And and as he gets his laser ready, right? Or not lasers? Lasers. All right. We're physician's warning. Yeah. Laser. Oh, actually, hold on a second. I might not want to do that. I'm only at weapons power one. I might want to call alert. Sure. Um, which I could go. Yeah, because I'm only. I'm still a green, so I want to go one, two. We're gonna go to weapons power four. Oh yeah, we went to red alert. So okay. so that's what I've done. So you committed your commander. I committed my commander instead. Yeah, we're the doctor's. He's chilling. He's just he's he's practicing his puns right now. All right, so it goes back to you. Are you have any more uh, priority actions you want to take? You know, I uh, because of the way the last round went, mm -hmm. my officers are, are are just getting ready to get, and they're all out of position. I'm I'm gonna pass. You're gonna pass. So now it's up to me. Now I I could stop here. I've already got five committed officers. I can only ready three on the next turn. But I am going all out. I'm gonna spend everything, and that means next turn is gonna be very weak for me because I'll have very few ready to go. But this is gonna be my power turn. Um, my doctor is gonna go. He is gonna jump to tactical. And we're going to fire. Um, I've got four weapons power. I can commit four energy as well. So I've, I could go up to eight potential power if I really wanted to spend it. Um, I like the phaser, can phaser cannon batteries. Um, so if I want to attack this torpedo, you said it has an evasion of three. Yes. Yep. That's on the card here. 
It's on the card. Okay. If you got that photon, photon torpedo I've card. I've got a right quantum there. torpedo card. Oh, the photon torpedo card. Okay. So it has an evasion of three right there. So I need to beat that. Um, how much damage does it take to kill? How many hits? Oh, one, just one. One hit. Yeah. Oh, yeah. So I need to... So I need to... I basically need to roll at least three. Yep. Um, I think uh, the time has come. I'm going to... For the phase and phaser cannon batteries, I can probably roll four. And are you at range? I surely should be, right? Four inches? I, oh, yeah. I do need to measure that, though. Um, yeah, three you inches. Are. Yep, you got yeah, it. I don't have... However, I wouldn't be able to shoot you, but I could use my... If I... I could use remaining uh, power to fire phaser emitters at you if I kill that. So let's do the batteries. I'm going to do my first four uh, on, the, on that, and then I'll decide, based on how that goes, what I want to do with the potential remaining four. All right, here we go. No ordinance on this, but uh, it has pulse two, which means I can reroll two of these, right? Yes. All right. <sighs> Come on. Shoot that torpedo down. Um, you no. It. You do got it. I've got th oh, I've got three. Yep. You're right. Break for success. Oh, okay. Um, and uh, these, this isn't going to do me any good. I'm going to reroll them for the sake of it. All right, we got even more. We got four. All right. You, All really, right. you really destroyed. All right, well, that's good. So this comes off. Yes. I just saved Cisco's life. Right there, and and possibly my own. All right, four and then, out of five physicians right. recommend. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I love the puns. All right, I'm gonna spend four more power. You know harm. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm actually only gonna spend three power because my phaser emitters have a cap of three. Um, oh, which means I could spend one more potential power and fire a torpedo with the last one. Mm -hmm. um, but we're gonna we're gonna fire phasers into the in your front section here with there's three regular dice. Nothing special here. And he'll he'll say. Um, we're gonna cauterize that wound, and uh, oh, we got a breakthrough success. We've got a, a hit, and we've got uh, one of these, which isn't gonna do anything. Um, what, what, I, I keep forgetting it's analysis. Analysis, yeah. The yeah. analysis isn't gonna do me as good on on a regular phaser shot. I don't have any special things to uh, trigger that, so it looks like it's just but, two. But you tag me, and yeah. uh, I I do in fact have a shield value of three right now in my front, mm. uh, but I don't dodge it, and that strips all the rest of my reserve off. Okay, so we we hit you. we didn't break through into hull, but that's the rest of your shields. And now Worf is like, their shields are down. Well, that's a little that's a little deep for Worf, but it works. Um, I have already passed, so it is your yeah. And the last thing I want to do is I want to drop a torpedo. Um, and uh, yeah, regular torpedo is just the one, right? Um, just one. Yeah. So I'll go ahead and I'm leaning in here. I'm trying not to get in the camera's view. I'm going to go that way. And oh, you wanna you have one you wanna drop on there for me? Oh, yeah, that, that one right there. Yeah. And, you fire quantum torpedoes. Oh, the quantum. Oh, yeah. so here you go. It's a different token. Yeah. And I will torpedo. put a uh, yeah. Once I pick this off, I'll put a fuse on there. I might as well. How much? Uh, let's put two. All right, two it is. Yeah. Because if I get it close enough, uh, you know that'd be fun. All right. Um, so that's uh, that's the end of that tactical action, and you had already passed, so it comes back to me. Last shot, uh, last thing we're going to do is Worf is going to go, and we have a uh, power of two, uh, and a phaser. Oh, the phasers on the Enterprise are actually stronger. Yes. They can go up to power yep. four. Yep. So I'll, I'm going to go ahead and spend two power, uh, and that's going to be four phaser power. Yep. Um, oh, you know what I'm going to do? I am not going to commit all, all of this to the first attack. Uh, Worf has ordnance, doesn't he? Worf has ordnance. Yes. He has ordnance, so he'll add a black die to his first attack. Is he so ordnance one? He's ordnance one. Okay. Ordnance one. Although he'll get plus one ordnance to Kapla if he, yep, uh, if he leads an attack that gives victory points. and um, Yeah, yeah. So that's that's pretty cool. Um, but we're Oh, but you also have the negative. So we're going to do two separate yeah. shots, I think, because one massive shot can only damage you so much. And repeated volleys seem to work work really well. That's the way. Yeah, yeah. This is the way. <laughs> Wrong universe. Wrong universe. universe. Yeah. <laughs> this, Unintended. This is the patak I am shooting. All right. So, um, all right. So we're gonna start with two, and then we'll add our one to that, and I'll save two for a follow up shot. Uh, and here we go. And I have no re rolls on this, so um, whoa. That's pretty good. So we got a new result here that we haven't seen yet this game. So that's Discovery. This is Discovery. Now, I, I remember, I, I think this can what, be changed to anything. Yes. But it also has some type of mission implications sometimes, right? Occasionally. Well, yeah. what you can do with it is you can change it to any other any other face. If mm -hmm. you choose not to and it stays in the pool, mm -hmm. you then you get advantage at the end. Oh. Of the attack. I see. Now, your evasion is one. Correct. Um, so I, this is going to get through, and I'm going to do two damage, and I think on that ship, two would probably put you into a different category, or do I need a third to push you into that? Uh, I think 
I have actually have a pretty long, long track for that. Oh, you're, so, you're, well, you're, you're yeah. a large ship. Yeah. You're not a small ship. Um, so I may want to change this to uh, a damage then. Um, so we'll go ahead and... Okay, so it's a breakthrough skills, which is good because I can't re-roll that. You can't force me to re-roll so that, I, yeah. I, but I am going to make you re-roll that one. Yes, okay. All right, so we'll have to re-roll this one. Oh, and it and still ended up being the same result. Okay. Then, but he, you forced me to spend that peril that the Enterprise yep. had from yep. when you threatened me. Uh, so, all right, so our end result is we have a three damage attack that's coming in. And I, have, I have no shields. Yeah, your shields are down. So, and that was to your uh, front, by yep. the way. So you're attacking my front. Mm -hmm. And uh, so I'm going to reduce my hull. I sort of one. Uh, and at seven, that's just light damage, no effects. Okay. I go down to six, and I take a critical. Oh, okay. Uh, so we're going to do that. And then at five, I'm going to change color. So we're going to take a critical. So oh, so I three roll. damage was exactly what three, I needed. Three to... was exactly what okay. you needed. And so. just, just for, for sake, um, I, I, my line basically, so that was basically my front left, or my front, yeah, my front left attack. So then it's going to be my front right attack. So, so I guess my starboard front, four starboard uh, attack. Well, yeah. and, and a galaxy class, the galaxy class just has coverage out the front. So oh, like it's, the, it's the whole front. Yeah, so it's got two phaser, two two arrays that can fire. Oh, I can fire. Oh, so I can fire the same one twice. So it yep. doesn't matter. But, and, but for but just so for clarity, I was yep. I was using that that left. And we'll say I was using that left. Right. Because you're coming inside on, you can actually shoot at the fore or the aft of that ship based on how close you are. Oh, I see. Because I could reach it. Yes. Right? Yeah. Okay. And you said you shot at the forward, which is fine. Yeah, yeah. So, you could shoot at the aft if you wanted to. So okay. what do you do to me? Um, well, I'm gonna take this one on the far uh, side here. Yeah. Uh, oh, I'm gonna reveal it to the audience first, and then we'll let them. Oh, and it's it's four, so it's a good thing I was shooting four. Um, it says, uh, sensory display disabled. After this ship makes an impulse maneuver, an opponent may rotate it up to one notch forward around the turning tool. So I can uh, I can force you to expose your rear a little yeah, bit. You've, you've messed up my navigation. Yeah. Uh, and, and, and we're going to take our second shot, and I think I'll actually target the, the rear, the aft, with the second shot. It's just going to be too blue, but I, I don't have any peril anymore, so you can't force me to re-roll these. Uh, and I'll see if I can put a little more damage on that on that battle cruiser. Um, oh, and I rolled two blanks. So yeah, well, it wasn't too good. Well, you know what? Worf already had his moment of victory, and he was laughing a little bit, and he he hit the other button a little too hastily. So um, that's the end of my tactical action, and I think that's all of that is all of my officers. I am completely exhausted. We now move to the standby, the standby phase, phase yeah. which is the next phase, uh, and. Since I had priority, you don't have priority, so you get the first standby action. Am I correct? That's correct. All right. So, we're going to figure out what happens next. All right, so we're at the uh, standby phase. And, uh, yeah, what's, uh, I think you got, you're going first. Yeah, yeah. So, I, it's my turn to go because you had priority. Mm -hmm. And I think the... So all the projectiles are going to activate at the end of this phase. And we also marked off all of my ships shot. You cannot right. shoot as a standby action if you already fired. You only have one shot. But any other action right. you could do potentially multiple times if you had standby and priority. Right. right. Yeah. So, uh, and everybody gets one standby order. Um, I am going to use this to get this ship uh, out of the way of that torpedo. So, uh, my, my gem had our fighter. Mm-hmm. Has the engine power seven. Yeah. I'm gonna do a what impulse these? maneuver. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, actually. You wanna go straight? Or you wanna turn in a little bit? Oh, you can. You can never turn in. You can only turn. In. Although we can I, do it. Can. We can do it on this side. I right? can. But I think. Uh, mm. I think I'm gonna do this. Okay. You wanna put it down? Yeah. All right. Yep. So I gotta first. I gotta uh, because because I'm doing an impulse maneuver. You have to spend it all I from. Spend, yeah, yeah, you can't leverage any of those um, to, uh, those symbols off of your officer. Exactly. So what did that cost you? Two. That cost me two. Okay. And then I can move up to seven, and I can turn up to two because I, I have a yellow alert. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Do you want to turn at the beginning or at the end? Uh, I've got the six inch here. If you want that, I'm gonna go ahead and. I'm just gonna go like this. And I'm gonna turn at the end. Mm -hmm. Hold that down for you. Okay. So I'm gonna go to here. Oh, you're gonna try and get, uh, you're gonna flank me a little bit, huh? I think I am. And you can overlap those uh, objective tokens, no problem. Yes, okay. yes, but I cannot overlap your ship and I can't leave the system. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to go here. Can, and then can part of your base extend beyond the system? Yes. Okay, but yes. you can't fully? No. Okay. 
Right, no, I'm and then I get to rotate around the turn at the end. Okay. Mm -hmm. And we can always adjust these a little bit to make that move easier since these are really there to... Okay. Yeah. Okay. So I'm going to move like that. That's, uh, that's, that's pretty that's nice. That's move. That's a little threatening. Yeah. Well, I mean, we're already firing. Be... We're already openly firing at each other. Most so. importantly, it gets me away from the torpedo. That's an uh, important thing. And since uh, there's no, uh, no, uh, no time on that, that's not going to uh, travel. It's going gonna, it's gonna to fade away. Yeah. Uh, it was, it, joke's on you, it wasn't actually a torpedo. I had Spock's body in that one. <laughs> that's, that's what was going on. It was actually aimed at the Genesis planet. Yeah, which is over, yeah, that's over here. Mm -hmm. I missed, though, so we're not going to get that movie. All right, so it goes back to me. Um, I, uh, I'm thinking of adjusting power, so the Defiant will go ahead and do a call alert and just adjust one, so we'll get three power back. All right, so I can call alert. What, uh, who are you activating? This guy, is he gonna do anything? Yeah, that, that ship's gonna definitely do something. Uh, and it is going to... You're about to fight. But you also know that your complication's yeah. coming out, so you might want to position yourself in a place to, yeah. to make something happen. There's, there's no there's no benefit to me uh, trying to do any actions in the system. Um, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to, uh, I'm actually gonna also do a maneuver. You're gonna do a maneuver? Impulse okay. To get ready. <clears throat> so that's going to cost me two. Okay. And I'm going to turn. And that ship is at... Uh, that ship is still at green alert. So okay. it's very fast and very maneuverable. So I am mm -hmm. actually going to go One, turn a lot. Two. Huh? Although I don't... Yeah, you don't want, as long as you're not hitting that. All right, I'll go ahead and slide this in. Yep. And you have... Uh, and I can't leave the system this way, but, but I can you go can to prepare the for a nice war... Yep. Oh, okay. Yep. Okay, I like that. I'm actually going to turn a little more. You're going to turn a little more? Yeah. Okay. So, because I can move up to three. Or turn it up to three. So I'm going to do that. Yeah, that's that's good. And then I'm going to go... I can't leave the system. So I'm going to go... to here. Okay. Now, the interesting thing that might happen here as a result of this is you may end up getting hit by that hazard well, yes. during the hazard phase. Yes, Which but I want to, want to position myself to... to but, that, but that at least it's, it's one or the other potentially. Or maybe you, th maybe you threaded the needle. Uh, actually, let me check. Um, oh, I think you're exactly at two inches. Yeah. Okay, so that will, that will, will, will have something hazardous happen I'm, potentially. I'm okay with that. Okay. All right, so that's my action. All right, um, let me see. I don't want to do anything special here. All right, I'm gonna do a adjust alert on the Enterprise. So I adjust it up, and now I'm at a. I'm gonna get four energy back, and I'm up to weapons power three. So if I have to shoot again, it'll be a little stronger. We're at yellow alert three. I didn't. Oh, I didn't know we had a yellow alert three. So yes, that, that ship has has more more alert states, more fine tuning. Yeah, that's that's really cool. Okay, and All right. it's a little more sluggish to react to shifts in posture. Yeah, yeah, I can yeah. see that. All right, back to you. All right, uh, so I have one. The big guy. Do, yep, and that's the only one I can do. Uh, I did not did not free up enough space for me to move anywhere still, but what I think I'm going to do is just, I'm just going to come about. Right. And, but actually, I can't because I don't have the reserve. You don't have the energy. Oh, no. you can so adjust your alert. Yeah, you want to adjust, you're going to call alert? I, I'm going to call alert. Okay. So I'm going to do that instead. Okay. No, I'm not even going to do that. I'm going to stay. You, you stay, stay where you are? Right. Yeah. Okay. I think that's best for you. You're going to breathe. Okay, so we, uh, now after that, then the torpedoes are going to move, right? Yes. All right. So this guy just comes off. He yep. doesn't have a. He doesn't have a, a, a thing. This yep. one will move four inches, and yes. I think this is interesting. I might need your help because I. I think I can make an impact on your. Ship oh, here. I think it will. Yeah. So I'm, I'm going to go all the way up. I'm going to kind of hit you on the side here, so you're far enough away from me. So and I can uh, that if you want. Yeah. Um, yes. And I could have it switch to the other side of the. Oh, sorry. Of Let's the show. of the maneuver tool. Um, I could have it jump to the other side, but that's the only movement I get. It's just like a slight left or slight right. Um, because you don't have that weapons lock, yeah. Okay. So but that's there. definitely going to be within an inch. That's definitely an inch. Yeah. So after it's moved, it's going to detonate. Yeah, that's what we're going to do. Oh, all right. So torpedoes blowing. I haven't seen one blow up yet. All right, but there's no rerolls on this. It's just a straight. Correct. Okay. Correct. All right. Let's see what happens. Right. Only one. Okay. But so that does that go um, straight to hull? Because I have no shields now. It would have hit shields though. Yeah, it would have hit shields otherwise. Does it do it? Does a torpedo attack take your evasion into consideration? Uh, 
it does. But since you're since I is you were one and I rolled one, then I missed. Exactly. It. Yeah. Okay. It's, it's very hard to miss me unless you totally whiff. Okay. So, but a faster ship is harder to hit with a torpedo. But that's yes. makes the big guys good for a torpedo attack. Yeah. All right. So we we lowered your hull. Uh, uh, no hull. no ill effects. It just but it chipped another another yeah. uh, level of hull off of me. Okay. That's uh, well that was fun, uh, and then we can remove that since it blew up. Yes. It doesn't it continue has, to yep, blow exactly. up over and over again. Okay. Um, and that's so I think that's it for the standby phase. Uh, is it the hazard phase now, right? Yes, it's the hazard and phase. The only hazard that's going to trigger is this one. Because uh, we, we measured your two inches from there, and there's no other hazards on this side of the board. But you do have this damage card hazard. Yes. Oh, I do have a damage card hazard. That you're the priority player, so you oh. actually are going to trigger that first. And that is going to do a, a wound on everybody here. So both of them are going to take a damage. Uh, can you hit okay, me some yep, wounds? Absolutely. And, and, and so they're wounded, so they can't, I can't activate them anymore, right? When they're right. wounded? But they, or if they have wounds sufficient to their value, so right. yeah, so she's she's got a inside. she's got a, a one, so she's done. So she's um, that 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 commits them. Yeah. Okay. So that commits him while he's while he yeah. is while he has that much trauma. Okay. They can be healed, but he's, mm -hmm. he's out of action for right now. But could I move them to like if yes. they, have to, they could, so I can move them to the med bay. Yes, you can move them to the med bay. Okay. That's the, we're assume, we assume the crew does that. Yeah. So. Yeah. <laughs> he's being carried. Yeah. Or he's a little delirious. He's like, "Get me to the doctor." And yeah. you have to take down your crew value by one. Oh, I do. Yes, uh, I'm because, going to. Because crew counts as crew personnel. counts as personnel. So the two, three, they're already damaged. They're going down. I'm down to one, two, two right now. So they're they're not doing very good. I wonder what happens if the crew gets all the way down. They have zero, zero, zero. If it gets that bad, no, I can, the ship the ship is still there, but it it can it can not pass tests. Yeah. yeah. Wow. Okay. All right. Well, what, what, that, that ship is hurting. Uh, but to be fair, so is your big ship. So I mean, I've, it's three on one. So I'm not really boasting too much. All right. So ha, now this guy's going to flip over, and we are going to reference um, the, yeah. the right here. So let's uh, see what number six we got there. Flips. It's going to be number, number six. six. So a six is a gravity rift, and that's okay. fine for you. Yeah. So I'm just going to find <clears> the right that's, token. So the gravity rift will hurt you, uh, treacherous three, if you're flying over it. And you like if so if you're going at warp and you collide with it, that's the really bad thing. Fortunately, it is it is the Dominion's lucky day. Yeah, they're just off to the side. You've triggering gravity rifts like crazy. You're setting bombs for me though. <laughs> okay, and I think it's for the hazard phase. That's um, it for the hazard phase. So we're going to take us to the ready phase. So we're gonna we're gonna refresh three officers each, and we're gonna get um, some power back uh, yeah. on our ships based on our our blue value. Uh, and that, Starting for example, easy. is right here. So this guy's gonna get three power back and. Uh, and then all of my rest of my ships are going to follow in suit. All right, so as we're readying stuff, there's also some ready phase things that we can do here. So I could spend energy to ready an officer that was here. Uh, I can also um, spend, uh, uh, basically, ready a, a team. And I'm going to go ahead and do that. And I'm going to make an engineering team. So this is... Uh, here we go. Oh, I'm going to grab the engineering team Yankee. That's not the reason. It's, like, it's Gamma. Yeah. And, uh, and we're going to put them here. They're going to be kind of like a, like another officer, but they can do this specific stuff. So they're going to be there. They're going to be ready. And my goal is that they will be able to, on my next turn, I can give them a priority order to, uh, to basically do that. As part of as part of forming the team, mm -hmm. at the you can actually move them. Yeah. To the, to the I can move them over here now because we're already past the hazard phase. Yep. They were in the right place before because the fires are actually extinguished in the cargo bay. The little cargo bay icon. Correct. Oh yeah, yeah. Oh, so they're using the controls in the cargo bay because that's yeah, where yeah. all of the uh, the Sorry. chemicals are. Yeah. I forgot that, that that's actually the place to repair that card. Mm -hmm. Yes. So. But if it was a card that needed to be repaired at its location, they right. could rush straight they to there. Rush straight to it. And that's. As a result of forming the team, I could That's also right. attach an officer. So if I had a healthy officer, uh, especially somebody who was good at putting out fires, yep. uh, maybe not a maybe not Mott the barber, but somebody with, with a fire extinguisher. <laughs> an Irishman, maybe. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah I, I think I think if we had this is a this is a job for O'Brien, for sure. But yeah. but I didn't bring him today. He's he's yeah. actually on leave with Keiko, and so uh, but yeah. So we could we could send them wherever we need to. But they're gonna stay there in the cargo bay. Next turn, we'd have an option to. Next turn, have to an option. Okay, yeah. and I think is that everything for the round. Uh, I I still need to. Uh, you have to do to, your to stuff my, to do my stuff. Okay, and then then we'll then the round will be done. And then the complication is going to flip over, and then we'll talk about exactly. that. Exactly. All right. So uh, you also ready to team? Yes, yeah, so I formed a team, and I attached uh, Minister Hanak to it. 
Okay. And, and put it in the med bay. So and that's ready. on your battle cruiser. Yeah, that's on my battle cruiser. And they're in the med bay right now. Yes. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I am. A, we're going to the hail phase. I am hailing you since I have priority. I have the first opportunity. Yeah. The Enterprise is going to hail your 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 Jim Hadar battle cruiser. The idea is like, dude, what the heck? You're sh shooting. I know that we opened fire, but it was that ship that opened up fire. They will be punished. Don't destroy Cisco. We need him for for DS Nine. We've got a, a future. Now the way hails go. You have numbers one, two, three, and four. Um, I've already used two earlier in the game, so he knows that I have one, uh, a, a three, and a four available. I'm going to choose one of those in secret. And you also responded with a two, so I know that you no longer have a two available. Uh, we're going to pick a number. The higher the number is going to win, but the lower the number sets how many dice they roll. So I could go with a four, and he could play a one, and then I'm stuck with like only rolling one die, but I do get to add diplomacy. So Picard yeah. is going to do the hail. Um, he's, oh, they have to be ready, don't they? He's not ready, right? So. He's not ready. Oh, no, he's not. So, all right, so I don't, and last time I used him, this time it's Worf. Worf is ready. Worf is going to okay. send the hail. Yep, Worf can do that. Yeah. All right, so I get to, I get to choose who's, who's going who's gonna to lead it on my side. Yeah. Uh, and since you're hailing my battle cruiser, I'm going to use my board of supervisor, and I'm going to choose my token. That's what I'm Okay. All right. <clears throat> All right. So. All right. All right. Here we go. I'm gonna win. Right. Oh, you went with a three, but I went with a one. So you won. Yes. You you you, you have the upper hand in the in I'm the thing. Persuasive. Yeah. The warp's like we want to stop, and you're because, like, oh really? <laughs> because that three gets added to my board of supervisors' yeah. diplomacy of one. So you have a four as your total four. number. If I had gone with a four and it would have been a tie, who would have won the tie? Um, uh, whoever has the higher diplomacy. Oh, and so you would have won the tie yep. because quick, war, quick correction: yeah. you don't add the number. The number is the tiebreak. The number is oh, the, the tiebreak. Okay, it's just the tiebreaker. Oh, okay. Well, I played that wrong earlier, where I, I added the number. But okay, so the, the tiebreaker is good. Um, it also means that I think don't you add black dice for your for your yes. diplomacy yes, to I the do test? Get, I do get to yeah. add to add that All for right. my diplomacy. All right, so you win. So you're going to get to make the test, and the the winner of the test is going to gain because I started the hail. Uh, the winner of the test is going to gain the advantage, the plus tokens. Um, and uh, if you get a breakthrough success, you can then cash in your, your plus tokens for a victory point. So you can gain a victory point from this. But I only get to roll one blue die. Right. Because, because I roll because I lowballed you. Yeah. You only get to roll one blue, and you're going to get one black. And it's a yeah. difficulty three, I want to say. Oh, i got to check my hail, because I started the hail. It is a difficulty three. So yeah. theoretically, I could pass. Oh, you don't have to make the test? No, I, I theoretically I could. Oh, you could pass. pass. I, could, yeah. I could pass if I roll two. Okay. So, okay. Um, I don't think I get re rolls on this. I don't think so. Oh, not not a bad roll. Like if, yeah, that's uh, enough. yep. And you didn't. Um, yeah, the persuasive player may could have moved, moved the influence marker. Okay, so you failed the thing. You didn't. You didn't talk Wharf down off the ledge. We are still at war. Uh, we tried. We tried to mend fences. War. You know, Picard was like kind of. He's taking a nap. He's an old man, and uh, and Worf decided to try his hand at diplomacy. He's not. He's still young, arrogant Worf. He's not the old, older, wiser Worf. So, but you got me to spend my three. I did get in, you to spend your three in case in case we do another hail. And so, all right. So, all right. So that's the hail phase. Um, do you also have? You don't have the option to turn it on and hail me right back, no, right? No, there's one hail. There's only one hail. So I could have done it, or if I didn't want to do it, then you could have tried yours, which has different stuff. Yours deals with uh, different tokens and. And different right, things. Right. My, my, mine puts mine is more of a whammy. It puts peril. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Um, and so I think we're going to move uh, to the end of the round. The complication is going to flip because we're at the end of round three. Yes. So l let's let's see what, what what happens with the complication. Okay. So this complication is uh, contested, contested territory. territory. So this is a this is a battle. Oh. So, um, okay. All of our directives, we're not going to be doing more hails because all of our directives are going to go to... To red? Hostile. Okay. All right, so we're gonna, I'm going to be flipping over everything to the hostile side. And uh, Max is actually setting this up because there's a, a whole different uh, setup step where we're going to be uh, setting down some new objectives. So contested territory is uh, happening right now. All right, so priority has shifted back to you. We've set up yeah. the board. We've got... Solid objects, so these are basically like small planets or space stations or something like that, where way teams can beam down. We've each formed teams. Teams can now beam down and try and test, uh, do mission tests to kind of secure these. Um, and you have the advantage because I left your one guy all the way over here, but yes. he, he can now just turn around and start taking the objectives. Yes. Uh, and at the end phase, or during the ready phase rather, we're going to get a victory point for every, of, uh, every one of these that we, that we control. And we're going to mark those with 
orange or blue flags when you control them. Um, alternatively, I might just to try to disable your your flagship and gain two victory points from doing that. So, but you have priority, so you're going first. <clears throat> my uh, my battle cruiser is not in a good place right now. Uh, unfortunately, I still can't warp out of the way yeah. because the Defiant has moved up, and I can't. I don't have enough speed to yeah. get away on impulse. So I am going to have to do something else. I think the best thing I can do is is not keep my uh, not keep myself exposed. Uh, or blow him up and then fly away, fly through yeah, the, that's the explosion. Also an option. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, you know, and I think that might be the the better option uh, because then I'm not going to take fire from both ships. So mm -hmm. yeah, I'm going to go ahead yeah. and and uh, I'm going to I'm going to activate. Okay. All right. So you're going to do? Oh, so you're activating the battle cruiser and you think an instrument um, tactical? I am going to activate from tactical. Okay. So because I, I was tempted to repair my damage, but. I can't really get out of here. Yeah, so, yeah. Uh, okay. I'm, so I'm going I'm to flip Omedaclon, and I'm going to make an attack. Okay, so you've... And, and he's got... Uh, he's got ordnance. He's got ordnance. And, so, and what's your tactical power? Is this still three? Uh, oh, that's right. You chose so to leave yeah. him right where he was. Yeah, exactly. And so you got three. You can spend up to three more. Yeah, um, and, I, and I have... And I was able to replenish a lot of my reserve because I had an engineer. Yeah, although I don't know if you need to spend too much. You can start with three plus the three blue plus yeah. the black, right? Yeah. So Let's see, well, how, what's your shields and what's your reserve on that? Ship? Uh, that's a good uh, point. Uh, that ship currently has two shields. Uh, I have four energy in reserve, but I'm at five. I'm at five uh, on the hull, and okay. uh, yeah. So and you have me. You have my four section. So whatever damage cards you get. Okay, so I'm gonna spend. I'm gonna spend three. Okay. And I'm gonna use my uh, my polar on beams. I'm just gonna fire into your four section. Okay. I do get rerolls if I wish it, and I'm gonna use relentless oh, to reroll. Oh, yeah, you, get, you did not roll very good. You've only got one success in there, which does get past my evasion. This is not the best. Okay, neither of those was a breakthrough. Mm. Uh, or actually, I'm sorry. No, I, because I uh, neither of the ones I rerolled was a breakthrough, so I do not take any damage. Right. So you do have the one success. You have a couple of these, which uh, I don't know if they do a whole lot for you on this attack. Uh, they don't really on this attack. Yeah. Uh, he, he does have I, pierce. I can pierce. I can pierce, and, and which you definitely want to, because yeah. otherwise it just goes to shields. Yeah, exactly. And and uh, so I think I think I will I think I will do that. Okay. Uh, so I'll just take one damage. Yep. All right, four. I'm still in or yellow. Nothing else crazy happens. No extra crew damage that's, or anything like that. That's that attack, and I can still spend. I can still spend uh, on another attack. I think you I absolutely wish. want to. I think you want to do another three. Yeah, so I'm going to spend. Well, I'm, but I'm going to be receiving shots pretty pretty soon here. Or at least two. Uh, I think because my evasion's one. So if you get at least one damage through, and you can pierce it. I. Uh, or maybe you just save it for shields. I I think I'm going to fire another torpedo. A torpedo. Oh, uh, that's, yeah. That's I think the cheap the cheap option. That's so, a good option because that if nothing else that draws the the defiance fire. Yeah. So I'm gonna fire mm -hmm. a torpedo. Okay. And. Same place as last time, right? Uh, essentially, yes. Yeah. I'm gonna put it right here. And then. Maybe put a fuse on there. Yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. Yeah. You have, uh, here we go. You there, perfect. Yep, not good. All right, that's right the orange. Should be orange. Hold that down. You can, I'll, I'll flip it over. Okay. Mm -hmm. I'll remove that. Yeah. Perfect. Okay. okay. So I'm just going to put one, uh, one fuse on that. Okay. And, uh, yeah, so that's not, actually, it's not a bad idea to, to put a fuse on, on them all the time, unless you're afraid of it damaging your own ships eventually. That's, that's the main reason. Yeah. Yeah. I don't want it to, yeah. Okay, cool. All right, so that's, is that, and that's going to end your activation? That's going to end that activation. Okay, no, I can't fire back with this guy right now because I have nobody at comms. I'm, it's, I've got fires going on in there. Can't do a whole lot of that. Um, I, I think before this guy starts laying into the Enterprise, I'm going to have the Enterprise fire um, because we're going to activate Worf. No, he's got ordnance. Uh, I did. I have more firepower now. I'm up to three for my weapons power. Um, so I'm going to start with three blue, uh, and then we'll get a black. Um, and we're going to do a phaser shot. I get uh, two phaser shots out of the front. Um, so, uh, yeah, well, we're going to do the first one. Uh, Are you attacking my fore or my aft? I'm going to go for your aft. I'm going to okay. go for your rear, yeah. Yep. All right, here we go. As you can see. Oh, that's not bad. That is pretty good. And I don't hit, there are no peril for me to force you to re-roll. Okay. Um, okay, that one doesn't do me much good, but I don't have any re-rolls on this. 
Okay. Anyway, so that's uh, that's gonna be three. So I'm gonna take three damage, and I only have one shield in my aft section. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, I, and I can inspire him. That's right. Worf does have, uh, let's, uh, Max reminded me, Worf has, uh, while I have plus one, uh, or while I lead an attack, I can resolve that to inspire his unit, which gives him a, uh, a little plus. Actually, it's better than that. Oh, because I can... Because you're at your starting crew status, inspiring I... increases your crew status, your stats go up. Is that in addition to the plus one, or instead That's of... That's instead. Okay. Well, let's we'll do that. So you you hurt me pretty badly. Um, I I had already had to reduce my crew previously to form that team. Mm -hmm. I lost another crew or another level of that. Oh. Uh, okay. And I also uh, you get a damage card. Get a damage card. Uh, let's hope it so. was one that uh, works well for the rear. Warp core breach. Come on. Let's see. And uh, this one is aft. So that's the rear. Uh, and you're gonna get two negatives. Um, and then an opponent may spend three. Uh, to inflict a damage on each personnel in the aft, and you don't already have a neg uh, apparel, do you? Uh, I don't. All right, so, so you're gonna I get, get two, two apparel. Uh, during the hazard phase. Yeah. Oh, it is a hazard. Yes. Okay. I get the I get the peril right now. Yeah, and that's gonna or go I, on aft. Or no, that is during the hazard phase that I'll get the peril. You'll get the ha yeah. It, it, that triggers during here because it says. Yep. Okay. Um, so you do that. And and what and what I, station is that assigned to? It's uh, aft. That is. Oh, I'm med sorry. Bay. Yes. I could do, uh, do another shot from the phasers now. Since I already spent three power on phasers, is the one to four per shot or in total? Per shot. One per to shot. four per shot okay. with that weapon. So I'm going to spend three more power and fire a second shot uh, to the same place. And we'll see what happens. Um, okay, I can inspire again, I guess. Um, I probably should have taken the plus one. <laughs> or, or the, uh, uh, yeah. Well, you still hit me. Yeah, so, it, so yeah, we're still going to hit for one more. And, and you still you st you strip another point of reserve off of me. That's um, that's something, um, and I'll inspire and I'll just get a a, a token, uh, and that's gonna do it. Oh wait, no, I had a token. Hold on, I'm gonna actually re-roll this one. Okay, <laughs> and it replaced the cell. Okay, so no 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 change. So just the one, yeah. So still the one. So that was my shot, and uh, Worf is now exhausted. I can't really do a whole lot more this turn until we get to the standby phase, and I can do a little bit. Uh-huh. All right, so I shot there. It goes back to you. Okay, so uh, now we're in a fight. Yeah. Uh, I am going to, with my, uh, my fire in the system, yeah, Okay. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to use Talak Talon to, move, to jump him over to tactical. Oh, he's going to take a shot. Him. He's going to take a shot. with Okay. Uh, because I'm already yellow alert. All right, and I have two so. aft shields, if you're, which is, you're better shooting my rear than my front. Yes, um, and I can because uh, uh, this ship is... Uh, like like yours, my arrays cover my entire forward Oh, you're path. shooting here. Yeah, I'm going oh. to shoot there. Okay, well, never so, mind. So he's even worse. I thought you were shooting the galaxy. No, I, I'm going to fire the constellation. I'm, I'm trying to give you this this huge target, and you're like, no, 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 <laughs> I'm going to go for the wounded rabbit. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So uh, and, and I uh, so I, I jump him over, and I'm going to use polar on beams. Okay. Uh, and he has ordnance 2. So, ordnance 2? Yes. Oh, nasty. So I get 2. Okay. And then I'm, I'm going to spend... Um, I think we're each going to lose a ship very soon. I'm going to spend <laughs> two reserve... Or no, two, two, of my, uh, two of my weapons power to roll four dice. Okay. Let's see what happens. And you are in range. Okay. I'm shoot your ass. Oh! Um, he is relentless. No. So I can, yeah, you're going to need those rerolls. He is relentless, so I can roll one die. And I'm going to do that. Ouch. Oh my goodness! <laughs> so complete miss. Should have rolled more dice. Uh, yeah. Okay, but wow. I get to, I get to make a second attack. Um, that ha that can happen. That's the first time that's happened. First yeah. time for everything. Uh, and I still have um, you still have some plenty power. of weapons power. Okay. So I'm just going to spend one reserve. Mm -hmm. Wrong ship. I'm going to spend one reserve. Mm -hmm. And uh, use my last remaining weapons power. Okay, so two more dice. To fire three more dice. Three more dice. Yes, because I have. Uh, I'll, I'll spend two, two, two reserves. Two reserve. That, all right, that's, that makes more sense. Okay. Yeah, you, I mean. You've got the reserve power. I haven't even attacked this guy yet. He's got power for days. Yeah, I, got, I got plenty of plenty. All right, of power. so we're rolling three dice. So three dice. Okay, maybe you should do it in here. This is the lucky box. Oh, yeah. Okay. That is wow! Box, so. <laughs> Holy crap! I, that was a really good roll. And I can't, all right. I can't re-roll this time because I already did that. Well, you wouldn't want so, to. That's uh, that's perfect. So four. Uh, that definitely exceeds my evasion. That uh, you don't have any pierce on this, do you? No pierce. Okay, so um, so I have two shields on the rear. Yep. You have four damage, so two is going to come through. One, 
two. Uh, the other two are going to go to hull. The first one brings me down to three. The second one brings me down to two. I'm now in the orange. I would have stopped there anyway. That was the perfect roll. And I am going to take another critical damage card. Let's do this one. This one. Okay. Well, I'll see if it affects... It. No, aft. Yes. Uh, for the hazard phase, it'll give me... It goes in me, uh, the medic, uh, the, the med bay. <laughs> right where everybody is. <laughs> yes. Oh, that, that, that the labs are depowered. That I, is unfortunate. That is funny, and yeah, I'd have to test mechanics to get rid of it. Um, so yeah, that's really funny. The uh, just FYI, um, this uh, ship is now down into two. So they're going to. I think uh, one more, and they'll probably be disabled uh, or destroyed very soon. I'm guessing. Actually, let's so let's just see. I'm gonna I'm gonna skip ahead a little bit. One, and then oh, and is the red count as disabled? Yes. Oh, uh, and then there's a couple. Oh, you can even take more shots before you're totally dead. Yes. Oh, and then this. Yeah. this what does that bullet symbol mean there? That that, uh, that explosion. That's uh, so. There's. Uh, oh, this is where you can't move, and I think it's where you can't attack anymore. That explosion symbol means you explode. Oh, oh, that that that's a good one. Okay, so we are. Uh, yeah, we're we're so close. Uh, that attack could have gone better, but I'll I, I'll take it. Yeah, that was nasty. Um, but you got me down into the into the next threshold for yes. sure. All right. So, so your action. It is my action. I'm going go with a defiant. We're going to. I'm going to spend all my actions this time. I'm going to spend the helm, and we're going to go ahead and move. I have seven inches and two two inches of movement. Uh, I might ask for your help on this one, so I'm not reaching through the camera too much. But I, I basically want to go seven forward and then angle myself. Um, actually, I probably don't need to use that if I'm going to move after, if I'm going to turn afterwards. Uh, yes. Yeah. If you want to do that, that's that's correct. Yeah, let's, let's do it that way. Oops, sorry. I'm going to ignore the torpedo. So... Yeah, I'm gonna line that up. Spaceship noise while you fly it. That's the Jetsons. Wait, that's the wrong one. And then we're gonna turn. I got two, so I'll go kind of about right there. Okay, so you turn at the end. Yeah. All right. Uh, well, actually, hold on. Let me let me make sure I'm getting my turning correctly because I want to turn the max of two. And, all right. Can you give me two? Uh, towards your ship. One, two. Uh, a little more. Right there. Okay. I want to make sure I can hit you with my uh, my pulse cannons. Yep. And uh, that's yeah, okay. So that's that's it for my action, uh, my, my my activation there. Back to you. All right. <laughs> All right. So you're going with uh, this other fighter over here? Yeah. Both both my ships in System Two oh. have fired, okay. so I can't do that again. Uh, so I'm going to use my board of supervisor on that okay. ship. She's going to move to the helm. She jumps to helm. She's going to commit there. Um, Are you doing a come about, or...? I'm going to do a... Well, you can't go backwards, can you? Uh, you can. Oh, that's a great idea. Yeah, yeah. I I think... Then, I think that is... If you can get in the sensor's range of this guy, that's probably not a bad idea. I think that is actually the play. Okay. So, um, Here, I'll, let me help you. Now, when you do that, mm -hmm. I can only go uh, at half of my, my impulse, but okay. I'm still on green impulse, so I have, I have up to ten. So you so can I'm do five inches five. straight yeah, back. I'm going to go all five back. Okay, so... So, inertialist dress. All right, so, right there. And you can use up to half your turn. Yes, I don't want to turn. Oh. I'm okay where I am, I think. Although, if you turned a little bit, that would put yeah, you even you closer. But I don't think you need to. I think but, you do, oh, you want to if you start pivoting, you can get then it's, then then you can, to the other Yeah, one. okay. So, what's your turn, two or three? Thank you, Coach. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Sorry. No, it's all right. Uh, so, yeah, I yep. think that that's good. Okay, all right, yeah. And, oh, actually, and I can't do two because I backed up. Yeah. I can do half of my... That's why I just did you one. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You're a two, so I just I just yeah. gave you one. Good. But if you were more than that, I would have. Good. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I do that, and uh, that is my action. And I had that's I a good one. one. One reserve to do that. So now, and and that's what I was afraid of is that you're losing the fight on this side, but I'm gonna lose the points battle if you're able to come over here. And I think that's where this is going. But knowing yeah. that, I still feel like I want to go out for glory. Because there is a campaign element to this, so I think if, you know if the story is going to continue, I want you to know in the next match that I destroyed your well, battleship. You, you also prevent that ship from taking actions to try to contest the objectives. That's another good. Th that's and that's a big because there's another one right over there. And I, yeah. as long as I can, I've been able to keep you from moving, I'm keeping you from getting close to that planet yeah. as well. All right, I'm going to go back to the define. This is my final action for the turn. Uh, we're going to fire. Uh, we do have three weapons power. I've got five reserves, so I can fire up to six. Uh, I'm going to throw four into the. Wait, where's your damage? I might want to do this two and two. Uh, I have two hole remaining. Two hole remaining. All right, I think I'm going to do two and... Uh, 
I want to go three and three. Phaser cannon batteries. Uh, my left and right, I think I should be able to hit. Let me see if, uh, from my right side, if I can hit you with the phaser uh, you cannon. You should be able to see, you can see my rear. Uh, uh, but am I, do I have range from the right uh, side? Well, if the center has it, I suppose. From we, your right side? Yeah. You I need to have any four inch, four inches. Do I have? If I don't have I four, I believe in, you are in range. Okay. Yeah. So we're that, and that was the that was the goal. But if not, yep. I could have fired regular phasers. They're a little yep. weaker. Um, I'm gonna do three from the left and then three from the right. So we're doing the, the defiant. <laughs> All right. Um, so the first shot is gonna come right here. Um, pulse two, uh, and we have that with two. Uh, I'll pulse two. I'll do this reroll. Uh, and do I get to do another one because it's pulse two, or do they have to all be at once? You can do another one. Okay. Ah, and we got a double. Okay. So we have four. That's a that's a that's a really good shot. Okay. So and that's four damage. Uh, that's that tags me. You're shooting at my rear. That was shooting so your rear. I only get I get one to reduce that, and I take three damage. Okay. Uh, and that was your last in a energy for shields. So now your shields are all the way down again. Yes, and mm. uh, I hit I hit one crew loss. Oof, okay. So I take that, and then I keep going. You're in the red I turn now. turn red, and the ship is actually disabled. So you're disabled now, yeah. and that does trigger um, my a, a proportionate response, where I gain two victory points instead uh, of, uh, well, two, or two, I'm sorry, I gain, if it's a capital ship, I gain two victory points instead of just one. And that's a capital ship, so I'm going to gain two more victory points, and now I am... Uh, I'm up to four victory points and two negative victories, so I'm a net of plus two, which I think ties us up. So uh, while, while I'm disabled, I cannot mm. uh, move. I also have one more shot. I don't know if I need to do quite as much. Um, I'll, I'll just spend two power on this next shot instead of the, the full three. I don't want to spend everything, and then we'll, we'll roll those. Uh, I got one, and I have a pulse. One, okay. two. Uh, no, so just one. Okay, so one damage. Yeah. Uh, but I think that's enough. Is that, is that oh, no, blowing? Uh, because I, I don't have no more shields. Yeah. And that is enough to destroy the ship. Oh, okay. All right, so uh, I just shot there. He's destroyed, and he gets removed from play. Uh, and then we're both at the point where we're passing now. So there's no more actions. We would move to the... Uh, standby phase. All right, so standby phase. This guy's got all the crew on there. What happens with them? Are they uh, unless I unless I was able to evacuate, which I wasn't. Mm -hmm. uh, all those officers are considered lost. Okay, so, so you could have had like you could because you could have launched yeah. escape pods. There there are cards that let mm -hmm. you do that. You could have beamed if you knew it was. Yeah. If I was a nice Federation player, right? Because I am only incentivized to disable you, not necessarily destroy you. But destroying does mean that you can't then beam somebody over or send some shuttles or launch escape pods or campaign play it's probably nasty it could be negative it's, it's or positive consequences it's bad for me in the campaign yeah it's also bad optics for you know <laughs> that the defiant is now like the, the the flagship of deep space nine is now a relentless murder murder boat you know but uh but that happens but uh i mean i think that's kind of where we're going to wrap the gameplay but what would happen at this point you would then you know you build a team send them down there and you start taking the start taking yeah. planets you have this whole uh, area completely uncontested i am totally spent so it's going to be probably at least two more turns before i have enough actions to be able to get people over here and to start trying to fight you on that um and so my maneuvers are going to be tricky um and, and i i guess i would try and take that one in the corner is the probably the, i could probably take that one planet in the very far corner but i don't think i have enough to get back and do this one and um and then the hazards are also ticking although yeah, so so this ship is kind of out of service. Uh, he's he's almost crippled, and I can't do anything with any officers there. Would, so. would you be able to get away from the torpedo during the standby phase? Um, I do have two energy, uh, so I would I could do an impulse. It would cost me two energy to do an impulse okay. maneuver. So I would be able to move. My speed is four inches, um, which might not actually I, get me I, away. I don't think that gets you away from the let's, torpedo. Let's let's just see real quick. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, move me up. Uh, All right. What'd you turn? I, I would probably turn after. Okay. Yeah. So so, so we'll just yes. Yeah, so let's let's do a straight four, and then and I can only well I can turn two, so I can I might be able to swing the butt around. There you go. And then I would I would try to swing it this way. So I would go one, two, kind of like that. Yeah. And I think that would get me beyond one inch. But the, but the torpedo will also activate. Oh, and it will move, but it's flying that way. 
Oh, it is flying that way. Yes. So, that is, that is so I got out of the way. That's right. Yep. Because you could blow it up before or after movement. And yep. as long as I'm beyond one inch, now if yep. I couldn't have swung my butt around, I might not have. I yep. might have been too close. Yep, because so. I fired at that direction. So yeah, 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 you avoid the torpedo. So 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 Cisco limps away with yeah. a ship on fire, but still salvageable. Uh, and I, I presume this guy might, you know, either hit here and then fly away. Uh, but I think you would win on victory points because while I gained two, um, you're gonna you would throughout the natural course of the game you're gonna gain quite a few over here, and I might gain one. We might have had a tie. We it's might an have... interesting question because I I could try to hunt down. The constellation, or I could try to focus on the objective. Oh, because you get victory points if you kill him, and you I have do. the full health I do. ship over here, and I, I yeah. and I have no good shots on you because you have, I have only my rear. Yes. I can still shoot some phasers, but they're not going to be super. I mean, I launch a four ton torpedo out the rear. I've got only a single phaser shot out the rear, so I can't do a double shot. So, you know, so this game wouldn't be over. It there, you know, we could we, we would have choices about like, do mm -hmm. we keep engaging? Mm -hmm. uh, but I think that ship definitely focuces on the objective. Yeah, absolutely. So. Um, no, this has been a great demo. Uh, I want to thank you guys so much for, for playing me, for teaching, and, uh, and hopefully this video has been helpful to everybody watching. To all you guys watching at home, uh, let us know your thoughts down in the video uh, this comments section below. You can also join our Discord. You can head over to whizkids.com and check out uh, your, your own version of Star Trek Into the Unknown, and uh, stay tuned for more information. Uh, I, of course, we'll be sharing all the latest and greatest. Um, that's going to do it. So uh, I want to thank you guys so much for watching. Big thanks also to my patrons. Uh, uh, you guys are great in helping make sure that this channel continues to exist. And uh, as always, may the force be with you. Live long and prosper. Be excellent to each other. Party on, dudes. Uh, you can't take the sky from me. And always wash your socks. <laughs>